All right, Coach, you sweep LMU for the first time in seven years, 81 71 the victory. Uh, kind of a tale of two halves. First half, maybe the best half you've had in probably two months, mm-hmm. s- somewhere in that area, maybe going back to the shorter game uh, at the end of December. But then the second half, third quarter lull, but you guys pick it up there in the fourth quarter. How do you assess the overall game, a 10-point win, but some lulls there in the third quarter? Well, in the situation we're in right now, um, you know, getting a win over – um, a quality opponent like LMU and a team that had jumped us uh, in the standings. And, uh, you know, we needed this victory. This would have been a really tough loss to, to endure at home, which would have been back-to-back at home, which hadn't been done in a long time. And a lot of things were there. Um, but uh, I thought the kids did a really good job in the first half. Uh, shot selection was a lot better. You know, we worked it inside. We got kickouts. And then, you know, we paid, We shot the ball really well that first half. I think it was 60-something percent from the field and 50-something percent from the three. But – a lot of those threes were coming from the post and coming out, and they were burying them, making it. So, yeah, that was a really fun half. You know, we got into the press a little bit, got some turnovers, created some steals and some easy opportunities that way. But coming out in the third, I mean, I knew 16-point lead wasn't – I told them it can be gone in a, in a heartbeat. But the thing of it is we came down first four, five, six possessions, turn it over, just sloppy stuff, just stuff that we'll have to go back and watch film tomorrow and kind of point it out. Like, mm-hmm. you can't do that kind of stuff and expect to win. It had almost cost us because it gave LMU a lot of momentum. Gave them some life, and then, you know, you let those guards start going. Those twins can play. They're really good, and they get a freshman, another freshman. Freshman last week against Wingett, the last game against Wingett, and then Profit comes in here and goes for maybe a career high. I'm not sure. goes for 17 points. So, uh, uh, they just really good. They did a good job. They crashed the glass like we knew they were going to. Um, and in turn, we didn't crash the glass. But overall, it's a good win. It gets us where we need to be back in the conference standing. Gets us a sweep over LMU, like I said, hadn't been done in quite a while. Let's turn our lens to the second quarter there alone. 11 tor- turnovers forced. Mm-hmm. I think you scored uh, 19 or 14 points off of turnovers in that quarter as well. Is that the quarter that you want to focus on maybe the rest of the year and say when we play like that, this is the kind of team we can be? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we uh, – sorry. Uh, we um, – uh, when you get into the press, we didn't press the whole first quarter, you know, but I felt like I, they had a lot of guys that had stayed on the floor almost that whole first quarter. We got in the second quarter, and it was like, all right, let's just try to pick things, some things up here, see what will happen. But the thing of it is they played really hard out of the press. And at times we've been, we haven't done that kind of stuff. And so um, we got into quick shot or it got them into quick shots, and, and, and they weren't making them. And then we got some turnovers, got some easy stuff. So it was, gener- you know, I, I coming up the steps, and I had – my high school coach had told me, he's like, man, that was one of the best quarters I've seen. And they were energized. And, you know, I think we got a play down here, maybe an animal or something, and everybody rushed to pick them up. Those are all the things that we've been preaching to them. So it's it good to see them play that way because that's a quarter that we can go back to. When you take the, the open shots, don't force it. You don't get stagnant on the offensive end. You play hard on the defensive end. You can still be a really good basketball team because we know we are. And we beat a good team tonight. I mean, LMU had won quite a few games in a row, uh, had moved to third in the standings and right in there in the regional rankings. So, um you know, very good win for our basketball club. Let's uh, look at a couple individuals. Harris Price, her first career double double with the ten rebounds there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cindy Pierce, five rejections. But overall, that first half, you were spreading the wealth. All eight mm-hmm. players scored. Nobody had double figures in terms of scoring. Yeah. What did you think of how the team as a whole played from an individual standpoint? Well, you know, like the last interview we had, we talk about not starting and playing with the roster or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, the day was a little bit more adversity. You know, we we don't have Kelsey, who's a rotational player, who was sick tonight. Don't have Bean, who doesn't typically eat minutes, but, you know, she's sick. Bunch, who's played before, you know, rolled her ankle. So we were down to 11 tonight, and, uh, um, you know, they're, they're, they're there. you got to play people, and I put them in, and I thought the guys that came off the bench gave us some good minutes. You know, and that's one of the things we've been needing. You know, you talk about those top four scores. They're usually going to get their points, and then Pierce comes in. She's going back-to-back games uh, in double figures as a freshman. Those are huge. Um, get five from Ashton, seven from Torrey, six from Chandler. Those are the kind of numbers that we need. Uh, if we're going to have success in this conference down the stretch. 